utilize the web app to import data. Please ensure accurate locations of electric towers are provided in CSV format before the flight. You can use our template to input data or any text editor to create CSV data format. Under Import Data, select Import Distribution Poles to add your locations in CSV format. Upload the data from your computer, then click Process. You can also upload multiple CSV files and then proceed with the processing. Next window that will pop up is to add the average height of poles in the area where you will execute operations. After you successfully import the data, a pop-up will appear informing you how many composites have been added successfully. If you agree with the value, click Continue. Another pop-up will show that you have successfully imported your data, and you can click Close. After you successfully import it's time to load them, you go under Site Storage and choose Load Site Bar. Pop-up will display your imported sites and you can choose by clicking checkbox bar on left side which one you want to load on your map. Now polls are displayed and you can access them by clicking right-click on poll that you want to interact with. On poll you can input ASL height and notes for information to whole team. After importing data into the web app, proceed to the mobile app using the same account you used to log into the web app. In the app, start by selecting electrical distribution towers, which will guide you to begin your task. Once inside, click on the plus icon, and then select your working site under site storage. The next window will allow you to verify if the selected site is correct. After confirming, click load site. On the main screen, you will see polls and other essential information. Once you have successfully loaded the site in the mobile app, press the plus sign to choose between automatic or manual flight plan creation to proceed with the inspection. Navigate to the first pole and adjust your camera gimbal to minus 90 degrees. The app will offer to do this for you if you click on move gimbal down in the lower right corner. Ensure that the pole crossbar is in the center and aligned with the red horizontal scale visible in the FPV view. Position your drone for calibration and after calibrating it, click on finish calibration. The next window will allow you to review the drone trajectory and choose the speed at which the drone will fly in this mission. After the mission is set up, click on Launch Mission, and the drone will automatically execute it. After each pole is inspected, click on Finish Pole, and you are done. Once you have finished inspecting a single pole completely, the red point on the mini-map in the FPV view will indicate the flight direction to reach the next nearest tower. At the end of the inspection process, you will be able to generate a full daily report on the work done, including information on each scan pole, drone use the pilot, and the time of inspection. To achieve this, if they go to site storage to sync the daily scan data to the cloud, all uploaded images will be stored in folders according to the poll name and date.